Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a collab. I am doing a collab video with Latresa. I will have her video right here and also linked down below. Her video is going to be on saving money as a working mom. So let's go ahead and get into these ways to save. So the first thing that I do as a working mom to save money is meal prep. If you're unfamiliar with the concept of meal prep. This is very important during this time that we're in right now. A lot of people are not currently working and we're just trying to save as much money as we can and that's just good information to have anyway. And me, I'm going to be showing you guys my makeup routine as a working mom and also working from home as well. What I like to do to my face. I feel like when I apply makeup I feel more productive because I'm not getting dressed up like I would be for work. So... I'm just putting a little bit more effort into my face. If you guys are interested in seeing my makeup look, please stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Also, go be sure to check out Latrice's video. Like I said, her video will be linked down below. Be sure to uh, subscribe as well and let her know that I sent you. So let's go ahead and get into the makeup look. I've done enough rambling. So yeah, stay tuned. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So when I'm getting ready for work or just every day, sort of, so yeah, I like to apply my face primer. I use this as a base while I've been using this recently, and this is the Estee Edit Beam Team Hydrate and Glow. You can mix this in your foundation or you can use it under your makeup, and that's what I like to do. And let's be honest, most of the time when I'm going to work or getting ready for work, I don't wear any makeup. I'll just put on some mascara and a lip product and I'm good to go. And I do like to wear this alone on those days. But I am going to apply foundation today just to show y'all like when I do wear foundation, when I'm getting ready for work, what type of uh, foundation I go for. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this really quick. I typically don't wear any eyeshadow or anything, but I do want to go in with a crease color just to define my eyes a little bit. So I'll do this every now and then just to give your eye a little pop. But um, I'm thinking maybe I should do that after. I should do that last. And if you guys are wondering, I already did do my brows. I started um, with the NYX Eyebrow cake powder. I'm trying to use this up. And I also cleaned up my brows with this CoverGirl Clean Whipped Cream Foundation. I use this to clean up my brows. When I'm wearing my makeup to work or like foundation to work, I like to go with something very lightweight or like I told you before, nothing at all. And this is a good foundation. I feel like it lasts for my work day. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look too heavy. It just gives me a nice skin-like appearance. And so I'm going to go ahead and apply this. And this is by Cargo. I don't know the exact color. But I do know that I purchased it from Kohl's and I love it a lot. This foundation, it turns into a powder so you don't have to set it if you don't want to. And I'm also going to apply it with my beauty sponge. But I like to go in with a sponge because it thins out the foundation so it's not too much. If you want something that has more coverage, I suggest uh, using a makeup brush. And this is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I love to apply my foundation with that as well. Alright, let's go ahead. I might have to pause and charge my camera a little bit after I apply this, but I'll let y'all know if that's what I do. Because I do not want this to cut off. Let me zoom in so y'all can see my skin. But yeah, y'all can see it's going on very lightly. You can still see my skin underneath. Like this little mark. My little, what are these, age spots, <laughs> freckles underneath my eyes. You guys can still see that, so. It definitely thins it out. that into my hairline it's a little bit lighter all right and that's it for the foundation see something very lightweight feels good on the skin and it looks good it's not too much and you can apply it very quickly next I like to go in with my concealer for I don't have the concealer that I like to use when I go to work it's actually the Maybelline 
I had it, I used it in a video before. I have it somewhere in the video and linked down below as well of the concealer I like to use for like every day going to work. But right now I'm using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in, what is shade is this? Medium Deep. I'm going to apply this first. I'm almost out, so I'm mixing it with another concealer that I have as well. Yeah, this is drying out. I barely have anything left. On top of this, I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is in the shade Medium. It's a little bit too light for me. So I wouldn't say that this is good to use for every day. I will use this like when going out because it gives you like a major highlight. But I'm literally out of concealer because I threw out all my other ones. So we're going to go ahead and blend that out and I'm also going to use the same sponge I used to apply my foundation. And then I'm just going to take the, <laughs> the butt of the sponge and blend like the outer part so there's no harsh line. It don't look too light. It just brightens you up quite a bit. So, all right, and to set my concealer, I've been using the Melt the Milk Makeup Concealer. This is the Blur and Set. I believe it's in translucent. Yeah, translucent medium. I really love this um, setting powder. You guys should try it out if you haven't. And to apply this, I love using my Elf Blush Brush. I don't see how this is a blush brush. Like I have really big cheeks, and I feel like this does nothing when I'm applying blush. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And I just kind of dab it, tap it on, and blend it out. And as you guys can see, I'm already looking put together. I'm going to go on with my Lorac Unzip Palette and use Unspoken. As y'all can see, it's my favorite crease color. And I'm just going to define my eye really quickly with this that's it do y'all see the difference okay I feel like it's a difference I don't know y'all comment down below <laughs> down below down below down below, down below. <laughs> that's it for the eyeshadow all right so normally I would do like contour or something but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to, well, sort of. I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep. This is like a setting powder as well, but it's actually too dark for me. I can use this like on all over my face as a color during the summertime, but it's very dark and it has like a red undertone, so it's just too, too much. So I'm going to use this to like bronze my face a little bit. And this will also work as setting my foundation. Like I said, you don't have to set the foundation that I chose to wear today. See? It kind of gives me a little bronze. A little deep color. And that's all I'm going to do. And to me, this is it's easy. That's all I'm doing with that. I do like to go in with a blush. I'm going to be using this Maybelline Master Blush Palette. I found this when I was doing my declutter and realized that I still love this and I want to use it. So I'm going to be using this like peach color right here and I'll probably also use the highlight as well. All right, so yeah, I'm going to use the little peach looking color or coral, whatever you want to call it, and just highlight, well not highlight, color. My cheeks and look at that so pretty all right y'all so i'm doing i'm doing too much all right going in with my favorite small highlighting brush that i hauled to you guys a while ago i'm going to go in this same palette and use the highlight in here and this highlight is good for every day it's not you know too much like why do you have on this all this highlight at work even though I'm working from home at the moment, which I believe most of us are. Hopefully everybody's staying safe. Now I'm just going to, you know, 
highlight my face. And yeah, so yeah, I am one of those people that likes to wear highlights to work. All right, so we're done with the face, so I am going to go ahead and set the face before I apply my mascara and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and set the face, and I'm going to set it with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray, and this is in Coconut. Alright, so back to the eyes. Some days I just wear mascara and I love to like have my lashes look full, voluminous, all that good stuff. So I make sure to use some good mascara. And then some days I will add on a eyeliner. I guess I'll do both today since I'm doing the video. But most of the time I just wear mascara. I am going to add in the eyeliner. This is the um, L'Oreal Unfallible Super Slim Liner. So next we're going to go in with the Kat Von D Go Big or Go Home mascara. I have shown this on my channel. I really love it. This is a mascara that I pretty much use when I'm just putting on mascara and a lip product. And I feel like I look great and put together with just this. So this, my lashes love this and I love it. So on top of the Go Big or Go Home, I'm going to use this e.l.f. mascara that I purchased from TJ Maxx. Don't know what type, I just know that it's really black and it's pretty decent. Alright, and that's it for the lashes. Just take a look. Alright, so last step is to apply a lip product. Right now, right now I'm wearing a lip oil just to make sure my lips are moisturized. This is the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. Love this. If you haven't tried it, definitely get it. Try it out. I believe I received that one in a birthday gift. I think it was. Best birthday gift ever because I love this lip oil. But I am going to go ahead and take it off. Now that my lips are juicy. <laughs> and uh, apply my lip product. So normally... If I'm going to work, I'm not really going anywhere, something quick and easy I don't have to think about, I will wear a nude lipstick or liquid lipstick. I prefer liquid lipstick sometimes if it's not too drying because it stays on longer and I don't have to worry about reapplying it. So I have many options. Just choose any nude lip color that you want. I'll just show y'all some of the ones that I love to wear. Now these are three liquid lipsticks. This is the Nitra B. Liquid lipstick, I don't know if you guys can still purchase this. This is in Mauve Sugar. Love this so much. It's perfect for work, every day. Look at that. So pretty. I'm just going to swatch these real quick. I don't know which one I'm going to wear. Also, Anastasia Beverly Hills and Ashton. This is another one. This is like more, mm, I don't know. I was about to say pinky, but it's not. Like apricot nude. That's pretty too. Look at that. Then we have the... Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick in 1993. This is so pretty. I wear this a lot to work. I wear a lot to work in the fall time and winter. Look at that. So pretty. It's kind of like a darker nude. And for a lipstick, I have World by MAC. Everybody used to talk about this so much on YouTube. Now nobody talks about it. And this is World. Hmm. I think I want to try Ashton today. And I'm going to use my brown liquid, I mean not liquid lipstick, but lip liner by Jordana. This is in Coco Loco. So let's go ahead and apply this really quickly. I think Ace is waking up. See? The life of a mom. You got to rush to get ready. Alright, I don't have my mirror in front of me so that might be all the way lined incorrectly now we're going to apply ashton and i have not worn this in a while so more this all outside my lip line so yeah it's like an apricot color perfect for spring and fall i mean not spring and fall but spring and summer i feel like I'm going to apply a little bit more liner. And this is the finished product, y'all. So that's it. Comment down below um, some products that you like to use or a foundation or anything that you like to use when getting ready for work. Something quick and simple to use. Thumbs up if you like this video. Also, don't forget to check out Latrice's video. I'll have it linked down below. And if you're from her channel, be sure to subscribe. 
And yeah, hit that notification bell. I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.